stories from Inclusion Ghana. Today from Teshi, a suburb to Accra, and a very unique aunt, and a spokeswoman for families whose children have intellectual disabilities. Kofi is four years old and has cerebral palsy and intellectual disabilities. He lives together with his aunt Amelia and her daughter Pleasure, who is five years old. The story of Kofi is that uh, whilst Kofi was born, just after he was born, the, the father died. Um, after the father's death, um, just a few months later, the mother noticed you know, the deformities of Kofi's uh, Kofi's body and noticed that there was something very unusual about Kofi and got really afraid. Kofi's mother didn't know what she should do and dumped him at his father's sister and just disappeared. Nobody knows where she is today. Kofi cannot sit or walk and lies down most of the time if Amelia or the neighbours are not carrying him around. Because of Kofi's condition Amelia is unable to do any meaningful work that will bring income to the household. She makes a little money by growing corn and yams in a field outside the city. In periods when she is very busy, looking after Kofi as well is a real dilemma. As a consequence, Amelia has been forced to take pleasure out of school so she can take care of Kofi while Amelia works in the fields. With help from Inclusion Ghana, support is on its way to the family. Kofi will be given a special prosthetic chair. This will take the pressure off Amelia and could be decisive as to whether Pleasure can return to school. Amelia is a strong woman who has shown energy and enthusiasm. She is now the chairman of the parent self-help group in Teshi, which has grown from 10 to over 40 members over a very short period of time. Inclusion Ghana supports the parent self-help group, working to ensure that the members are able to be included in national health insurance and social welfare, which will entitle them to receive public benefits and support. Looking at such a story um, where someone is a single mother and now takes on the responsibilities of Kofi, who is not you know, her own child, and taking Kofi, care of Kofi up to now, I think this is a very great inspiring story and this is what we are looking you know, forward to for a lot of parents to be able to accept their own children in the first place and be able to, I mean, join parent self-help groups, learn a lot more things and support their children and this we find inspiring. <laughs>